Right, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm just going to wait for a while for you to all join me, um, and then we'll get on with the job at hand. So, I've just got to um, share the video when it comes up. So, share. Oh, God. So please do bear with me um, if you're just joining me. You, just, I'm just um, sharing the video to the, the um, platforms before I actually start properly. So there we go. Right, okay, so you have my, and um, thank you for, for um, subscribing there, Billy. Um, you just subscribed to the channel, and thank you to all of those who've already subscribed to my channel. Um, it, it gives me um, purpose to do more of these videos. Obviously, if you don't subscribe, I won't make any videos. So um, I've got to get more um, subscriptions in. Um obviously um so i can keep on doing videos like this because um otherwise um if i don't get any more subscribers I, I might have to stop so so obviously tell your friends you know tell tell them that richard from the undateables is doing some interesting videos um so anyway so let's um cut to the chase um so this is about my recent shopping trip to Asda, i.e. yesterday. So so I went yesterday and um, I mean, I was able to get most of my stuff. Um, but one thing I couldn't get was a large bag of rice. So I had to get two small ones. Um, which I'm sure the price comes to more. I mean, it does when you have to do that. So that was rather unfortunate. Um, also, another thing that we've noticed, and have you noticed it as well? And what am I going to say? Anybody guess? Prices have only gone one way. And which way have they gone? They've only gone that way. They've only gone that way. They haven't gone this way, which I think is awful. And... Um, as for social distancing, um, Richard Clark, I mean, well, um, it's just gone out of the window, hasn't it? I mean, it really, really has. I mean, um, I can get in all right now without having a queue. Touch wood, that is. But, you know, if there's a second spike, everything's going to close down again, isn't it? So... They're all going to flock to the supermarkets. It's going to be like a riot zone again. So, well, my name is Lord Richard Lawrence. But it doesn't matter. Call me what you like. Um, somebody's put another. Thank you. I'm blowing my own trumpet there, but yes. So, <laughs> but I mean, I think it is a joke. Um, they put 
the arrows on the floor um in every supermarket down down the country one-way system um but at the end of the day you're not going to take any notice if you know where something is or you think you know some where something is you're going to go the shortest way to it aren't you now if there's a crowd of people there in the way i will find another way to get to it but otherwise no i mean i'm just going to go the shortest way around um probably the same in tesco's as well there um james i think um so yeah um anybody got any questions um questions perhaps about me um or anything like that um um your thoughts guys um what what do you think have you noticed um the prices have gone up recently um because i certainly certainly have uh, my mum has been saying that prices have gone up as well and did i have a job before lockdown and what job would you like to have um well um i did sort of have a job but um it was way before lockdown um that um things started to get really really difficult in the job that i was doing um in the last sort of few years of it um a couple of years or so ago i did three years ago i did um but it just got to the point where um it was just getting ridiculous um i mean we had um um the caretaker who was there for for years i mean i've seen several caretakers in fact um so it was sort of like a caretaker's assistant so we saw several of them come and go over um over the years sort of thing um things got difficult towards the end um because there was a first caretaker when i was when i was there at the school as a boy um and you kind of accepted him as he was was and all i mean he was a difficult character but i knew him from when i was a boy to the thing when i was at that school so anyway yeah and then we got another one who was was okay I had him for about sort of um, five or six years or so and he got bullied by the previous bloke who was still there on the care staff so another story so he left um and then we got another one and um so again he did it for about six years i think it was and, and then he he retired because he was already past retirement age when he started but um so anyway yeah the previous bloke's next door neighbor took over um and um so again had him for about sort of probably near enough 10 years i suppose he's all right um again difficult character but you know um so anyway um so he left and we got a couple of new blokes it was two new blokes we, we we actually had so um and there were mistakes made um big time um they should have just taken on the one bloke to start off with and build a bit of trust with him the older bloke not you know um so anyway um the young bloke was claiming credit for the the, the other blokes work and my work and all that sort of stuff and you know it was just completely that's just wrong so anyway 
the young bloke gave him such grief. Then he had he left. So, you know, um, it wasn't good for me. It was horrible. Horrible having to go in. So I had to take time off, not bother going in. Can't possibly avoid it. You know, and then. Uh, I made threats which I should have kept to actually. You know, I mean, I, I said, you know, if he's not going to come back, then I'm not going to come back. And I should have stuck to it. Uh, but I stuck it out for um, a while longer, um, two years longer, I think it was. And then we got another guy. Um, who started um, making stupid comments about me being late for work and I wasn't. So what it was to try to get rid of me. So, I mean, actually, probably for about 10 years, they wanted to get rid of me because I was a nuisance. So there we are. But that's, that's, that's the end of that story. Um so but yeah it's good to good to see me isn't it yeah good to see you as well um why am i evil i don't think so I mean, I speak the truth. That's that. That's the thing. I speak the truth. You know, I'm sorry if you don't like it, but I speak the truth. You know, I mean, I didn't mention any names. Uh, I didn't mention where I worked or anything like that um, or anything. So... Have I got any birds on the go? Well, there's plenty of birds in the garden cheeping away um, at the moment. So uh, we'll, we'll, we'll leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> but, yeah, that's what I, that, that's what I say. Um, a lot of the time I speak the truth as I see it and, um, and, and, and that that's it really um so there we are um that's what i do no messing about no skirting around it or anything like that i tell the truth and um a lot of people where I work, they, they didn't like it. Another question here is how big are your biceps? But yeah, I, I, I speak the truth. You know, as I, as, as, as I see it, you know, yeah, um, I mean, there are things that happened in my life that were wrong, but um, really we should be concentrating on, um, on my trip to Asda. So um, anybody got any um, questions on my trip to asda um what what should they do do you, do you think they should perhaps put their prices down instead of up um it's because more people have been shopping in the supermarkets and they've been going there to get their food etc because at one point people did actually um eat out um but 
because not many people are eating out at the moment. Um, more uh, perhaps popping in to get a sandwich um, or popping in more to get um, things like um, ready-made meals and curries and doing their weekly shop on top of that. But yeah, not many bog rolls in Astro. I don't know. I, I didn't um, because I didn't need bog rolls. Um, I wasn't actually looking, but um, I hope that they are well stocked up. Um, as I said at the beginning of the video, um, social distancing is completely non-existent people aren't taking any notice at all whatsoever um because as i on in the video um basically you you just go um the shortest way around the supermarket or you go the way around you know that the supermarket um or oh it's here or oh, i think it's here um and then, of course, there's a great big no entry sign there. So you're like, well, you know, um, it's just here. So, you know, I mean, so far they haven't told anybody else, to tell, they haven't told anybody off as far as I know. And thanks for subscribing tomorrow. That's, uh, that's another thing. Um, Tamara Rossi is a lovely, lovely lady. She's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant singer. Um, so please, 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 please subscribe to her channel as well as mine. Um, you'll, you'll find there that she's um, a, a brilliant singer. You know, listen to her stuff on there. Um, she's got some really brilliant um, things on there um brilliant videos on there etc etc so um you'll, you'll you'll find out you really really have to subscribe to a channel as well as mine because she is so good so talented and i really don't know how she hasn't topped the charts um, I really, really don't because she's so, so talented in what she does and uh, the quality is absolutely second to none. She is absolutely brilliant on all levels, especially her singing. It's what she does best. So there we are. And don't forget to subscribe to Lord Richard Lawrence's channel as well. It's brilliant, isn't it? So you thought you already had signed, gone to my channel. Um, I mean, it can be difficult, I know, because it's very confusing. Um, I subscribe to yours. Um, and it can be rather confusing um, when um, you think you've hit the subscribe button, the notification button, and all that sort of stuff. But I'm glad you joined me um, tomorrow. Um, I mean, this is kind of supposed to have been about uh, my recent experience at ASDA, but never mind. Um, as I say, um, prices have just gone this way in, in Asda recently. They've gone mm -hmm. this way. So just, they just skyrocketed up. My mum's noticed it. I've noticed it. Other people have noticed it. It is fucking awful. It is a fucking joke that they have put their prices up like they have and there are people who can't afford to pay those prices 
but um, I'm hoping that um, in the future there'll be um, there'll be either a little or an Aldi will be coming to my area, um, according to my mum. Um, because at the moment I have to go all the way to um, Worcester Park um, near um, near one of my um, subscribers on Instagram. I think she's probably on here as well. Um, so we have to go traipsing all the way over there if we want something. And also, of course, it's only very small. So there we go. I absolutely think you're right, Rufus. Absolutely hit the nail on the head there, me old mate, me old chum. It is terrible. Well, they're just going up everywhere, and I just think it's awful. And um, people should vote with their feet, really, I think. Um, and um, go where it's cheaper. But, um, I mean, the trouble is with um, Aldi is I can't find anything. I have to keep asking people in the supermarket, you know, uh, can you show me where the um, frozen mince is? Can you show me where the tomatoes are? Can you show me where the tomato puree is? It's not next to the tomatoes tin tomatoes where I think it would be. So there we go. But yeah, um it's ridiculous um that that they're just going up. Um and it's just really unfair. Um I think. Um but um but yeah um which one is it? Um, I can't remember. It's Aldi or Little that I went to um, in um, Worcester Park um, near the um, parade of shops. My mum goes there and she's thinking of going there all the time instead of Asda. Um, and um, but the trouble is it's out of our way, um, which, is a, which is a pain. Um, Yeah, I do bounce down them, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's good. I'm I'm glad that well, um I mean I don't have mine delivered. I just go to um the supermarket um and, and buy it. Um well I mean one bonus um is um you know you don't have to wait to get in what brand is my toothbrush i don't know i just put i just brought any old toothbrush so there we are but um, one of them things. So anyway, I've been on for rather a long time. So I wish you all the very, very best. Um, and hopefully um, catch you all again very, very soon. Um, obviously, um, if you've missed my life, um, you can still see it. Um, I have my breakfast. Yeah, I have porridge. But but yeah, you can you you, you can still. Um, catch up with what was discussed over here and um, always good to hear your comments and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on my YouTube channel and also of course on, on my Instagram channel as well um, you should be able to find me on Instagram which is Richard Lawrence 5870 so you can find me on there if you haven't already subscribed so um, I need more subscribers to, to be able to do more 
videos like this because um, if I don't get any more subscribers, then, you know, unfortunately, I won't be able to do any more videos, will I? So um, I wish you all best 7-3, uh, which is best wishes in amateur radio. So 7-3 um, and all the very best.